Finally got a break in this rainy, snowy weather we've been having in the Sierra Nevadas. So we had to get out. Uh, there's not much open that's not covered in snow right now or closed. So we are in the Red Hills area, um, just outside of Jamestown, California. Um, it's a nice little area of BLM land. Uh, there's some hiking trails, a lot of horseback riding. Uh, and there's one little loop that you could drive that the goal today is to mark that out and that's going to be our first trail on onyx because we're starting the trail guides program so get to mark some of the trails out that we do uh locally that i've noticed aren't on onyx so i'll definitely be sharing those with you guys as we mark them out um, but this one's not on there so i figured why not do it so we'll go and mark out this trail and then we'll probably let the dog out. We'll probably go for a walk because there's lots of water out here, crosses some creeks and uh, it's just a fun little area to go when it's snowy up the hill. So stay tuned for this video and we'll catch you guys in a minute. So as you guys can tell, this is the road in. It is usually always flooded. Um, the river crosses the road a few times. Uh, just behind me a ways is a kind of bathroom and day use area that people start at. Um, and then if you head down the road this way more, a little bit more towards Jamestown, there's the trailhead. So we're gonna go to one of the starting points of it and park and we'll probably go for a walk. And then uh, we'll end up driving the loop after. But. Yeah, I'll just show you guys the area. It's a fun little day trip. You can't camp in this area, um, but it's worth checking out on a nice day and get out of the house. So let's check it out. So you're gonna turn off the main road here and the loops are called the Serpentine Loop Road. There's a south and a north. So this is south side, and then we would come out on the north side. It's just a loop, loops back to the main road. But we're gonna go on in the south side. So the trail starts out pretty chill, uh, mostly gravel. And then there's some little easier rocky sections, but there's nothing too hard out here. Uh, most full drive vehicles could do it. Stock Jeeps, I've seen Subarus, so. Just a nice little trail to get out and drive along and there's flowers everywhere. It's pretty nice here. This is the top of the hill here. We head down to there and there's a little creek crossing and then it follows the river back out to the road. And now we're going down that to go over there. And we started over there. Nothing crazy. This little hill is a little rough, but there's an easy line, but nothing hard. A little bit of mud puddles, but so far it's on as it always is. You can see the river down there. This area though, just super pretty. I love areas with water. So this is definitely one of them. Um, just water all over the place. Crossings. In the summer, obviously this dries up pretty bad, but uh, springtime and right now it's just nice and covered in water everywhere. The dogs love it. It's a fun spot to be at. Another water crossing here. Like I said though, in the summer, this trail dries up pretty good. Um, most of this won't be here. But we got a lot of snow and rain this year, so it should last us a while. And back across again. 
This one has a little uphill spot, but still all this trail is pretty accessible to any kind of four-wheel drive or even some all-wheel drive vehicles. A little bit of mud here and there, but I've been doing this all on two-wheel drive. I haven't even used four-wheel drive yet, so. It's just a nice, easier trail. That is one of the bummers though, is you can't camp out here. Um, it's just a day use area, but um, I guess not every spot has to be camped on. I want to camp there, but this one's just a, a fun day trip on the weekend or something. Go take a hike and enjoy the views. This is like the first trail we marked out using Onyx, which is like an easier trail. So it's a good warm up, I think. Um, I think the next step is I have to put it on my computer at home and then do like a description and whatnot. So after that's up, then if you guys go get Onyx off road, you can see the trail and see the description and know if you want to go there or not. It's a great app. I've been using it a lot uh, to find new camping spots and new trails to check out in like new areas I've never been to. So um, yeah, it's worth checking it out if you guys do a lot of camping or even hiking. There's filters for different sports. Um, I find it useful, so that's why I started to do the map, or I'm going to start doing it. I noticed a lot of the places that we go annually in Sonora and surrounding areas aren't on the map. Like, they're on the map, but they're not marked. So uh, there's a lot of cool areas that people would like to see, I'm sure, that they don't know about. So, look that. An old can lid, it's kind of cool. It's like an old paint can. Hummer. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully this will be a new little activity because I want to try and make a video of all the trails that I mark. So you can go on the app and see them. But then you can click the video and watch what it's like. So seems like a good little idea, I think. So we're gonna try it out. Oh no, don't do it, no. <laughs> Oh no! You know Murph's gonna hit it. Go in there, dude. Man, you could chill in that. Pretty deep. Go in there. Come on. Go. Go in there more. Tons of areas like this out here where you can park by the river and have lunch and hang out. Like, they'd be awesome camp spots, but sadly, no 